Step 1. Develop the model logic. This step requires only Excel tools, not at risk. You must first develop the logic of the model in the usual way, using typical Excel formulas. This has already been done for you in the financial model, and you can review the Excel formulas. This model is then a starting point for the at-risk analysis. The values you are interested in analyzing, your bottom lines, will become the output cells in at-risk. The values that are uncertain will become input cells in at-risk. In this model, you are evaluating an investment project. There is an initial investment, followed by future years of revenues, associated variable costs, and fixed costs. You need to project cash flows for the next 10 years to calculate the key measure of the project's performance, the net present value, or NPV. The NPV is based on cash flows, the initial investment, and the discount rate. The model also includes the possibility of a bonus if the NPV is greater than $30,000. The bonus is the amount by which NPV is greater than the bonus limit. You can look at the Excel formulas in rows 22 to 30 of the model sheet. They are typical Excel formulas and present nothing new. However, there is considerable uncertainty about the costs in future revenues. This means that you can't be sure about what the NPV and the bonus will really be. This is where at-risk comes in. As you will see, at-risk can help you assess the probability of negative NPV, positive NPV, whether you have a bonus or not, and more. You will also be able to uncover which of the uncertain inputs contributes most to NPV, information that might help you choose a more profitable strategy. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and then take a few moments to look at the formulas in rows 22 to 30 to make sure you understand the logic of the model. It is all correct, so you don't need to make any changes at this point.